In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can re-engineer previously posted content to get more views, to get more book calls, and to make more money. Creating content is hard, so why not just re-engineer good performing content instead of always having to re-record new content? So let's check it out. One key to this process is how I track distribution. I keep track of every single piece of content that I distribute with a unique distribution ID, and with that comes my ability to track every published URL. So every piece of content that I publish has a unique URL stored in my system, which allows me to track analytics for all my posts across platforms. Currently, I'm tracking on TikTok, LinkedIn, and YouTube, which allows me to get access to views, likes, comments, shares. And then on YouTube, I can get dislikes, minutes watched, and average view duration. In this example, I'm going to show you how I improve my TikToks and then repost them for better performance. So in my content tab, I can come down to my content database where I can recycle vertical videos. Right now, I'm looking at a bunch of my TikToks that were recently published at various dates, and I sorted them by views. And then I can see how many times I've re-engineered that piece of content. That way, I'm not re-engineering the same piece of content over and over. Then I can come down to a particular post and make a judgment call on whether I want to repurpose it. Let's say I want to repurpose this one, how to build an efficient content machine. Here in my playbooks, I can assign a specific workflow that tells my content engine database how I want to treat that piece of content. In this case, I'm going to select the re-engineer TikTok playbook. Once I do that, it's gonna get pulled to the top of the database. Because I'm extremely meticulous about how I track all my content, I have a Descript link here that's gonna take me to the original podcast where this clip was taken from. Notice you'll see here that this is ID 3713. If I click this link, it's gonna take me right to the project. This happened to come from a Veed live show that I was on. The source content was C3662. And here I can see all the TikToks that were made from that recording. And then here was the original clip that was posted to TikTok. That video originally got 31,000 views. We also took note of some of the other statistics. A lot of people were dropping off at the two second mark and the average watch time was 13.8 seconds. So that gave us some data to look at as we started to review this clip. We could look down at the timeline and see what was happening at those moments at two seconds and at 13 seconds. And then we were able to readjust the clip to get more straight to the point at those times. And then we also went back and added some images and improved the quality of the post. Notice here we're adding the TikTok icon or various other icons. So not only were we able to re engineer the clip to make it more succinct where people were dropping off, but we were also able to increase the production value of that clip. And because we already knew this clip was performing well, it gave us the justification to spend a little extra time on this clip because you really never know what clip is going to perform well and which ones won't. And so you want to spend your time wisely. And then we can simply re-export this clip as a video, adjust all the settings, and then we can run it through the machine again with the same ID, which will create a new revision. And then ultimately we can distribute it back to TikTok and review the analytics once it's posted to TikTok again. And it was really quite interesting to see this republished video now has 5,000 more views, 300 more shares, and we were able to more than double the watch time. So there you go. I hope you found this video valuable. I'm going to make sure to keep you updated on how this repurposing and re-engineering process works for me and my clients. If you're really interested in making more content, but you're getting stuck on how to generate ideas, check out the video that I did last week. It goes directly into how do you generate endless content ideas for your content marketing plan. Check it out. I'm going to see you in the next video. Have a good one.